station, Washington DC train station. And um, Tanya was walking through the train station with a group of friends and saw one of my signs. And she was, I saw her reading the sign, so I waved at her. She waved back, and I waved her over, and it's like, what are y'all doing? How can I you know, be part of this? And so she signed in, and we did your black hair story on a video. And then I started working with her on the set that I built at the new station. And she was having so much fun throwing her hair around. I was like, no, nah, we need more space. So we went out in the middle of the great hall, and she was her hair and just having a great time. So we did like two, two series of those. And then when I said we were done, she came up and, and she was crying. Like, her face was covered with tears. And I'm like, what, what did I do to <laughs> And it's like her friend's circle came around, built the circle of love, and then like pulled me in. And, and she said, um, you don't understand why it's been so hard. Mm. Right? Talk about your hair journey. Yes, yes. You want to say more about that? Well, my hair journey has always been the outcast. Right. Having long, you know, curly, thick hair. Um, growing up in the 70s, the 80s, and even the 90s, it was always to process it, to bring it down, to tame it. And I'm like, just tame, natural. This is how God made me. So when I saw Marvin, and he was saying, black hair, <laughs> and I'm like, yes, finally, liberation. Finally, an artist that's coming looking for people like myself. Right. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You know, we are taught to accept the norm, another culture, other hairstyles. Yeah. But what about our own? What about our own? What about our own? We are a vibe. We are a culture. Yeah. And black hair, you know. So, here we are. I'm just doing my hair and stuff.